Deuteronomy 28 is the chapter that goes over the history Amen. of blacks and Latinos. And the blacks from west coast of Africa to the east coast of Africa, you have to read Deuteronomy 28 to learn that history. So I hope y'all write this down. Now listen good to the scripture we're going to read. Every church has what on the top? It's called the crucifix, a cross. Listen to this. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 64. And the Lord just scattered thee among all people. God said he would scatter the Israelites among all people. Let's get this one. How were blacks and Latinos scattered among all people? Through the slave trade. Look at this. Remember this history. The Bible said the Israelites, the Jews, would be scattered amongst all people. That's right. Remember they took Hispanics from Puerto Rico and brought them to Spain. Not even Hispanics. That's not even what, what's your nationality? No. Puerto Rican. What's your nationality? Puerto Rican. Puerto Ricans. God calls you the tribe of Ephraim. That's right. That's, That's right. the name God gave you. Right. The white man called you Puerto Rico. Puerto Ricans. Yeah. But that's not your God-given name. All right. Now read this. From the one end of the earth, even from the eastern hemisphere, right. even unto the other, to the western hemisphere. Right. Read. And there thou shalt serve other gods. And it says, and when you get to those lands as slaves, we would what? Serve other gods. Right. What God? Here we go. You can put that down. That's the God right there. No, no, don't pick it up. Leave it there on the ground. Leave it there. In the, hold on, now it's messing up. Hold on, fix it. That's the God we would serve. I'm going to ask a question. Brother man right here. Have you ever read in the Bible that Jesus Christ is Caucasian? Has anybody here ever read a scripture that Jesus Christ is Caucasian? Bring it out. I'm going to ask it again. Has anybody ever read in the Bible that Jesus Christ has blonde hair and blue eyes? No. Let's read this. Finish reading. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. It says even wood and stone. Now watch this. Watch this now. It says even wood and stone. We learned to carry a crucifix. That was taught to us. But you will never read a scripture that says we're to have a crucifix. Watch this now. Go to Habakkuk 2.18. Listen out. to this. Listen to this. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 18. What prophet that the graven image that the men of the earth are graven it? The Bible says what prophet do you get out of a graven image? A graven image is something you call by the wood stone. What, what do you gain out of that? Most people will say protection. That's what they would say. Habakkuk is asking you a question. What prophet? Because there is no prophet. Out of Read. The molded image. Why? Because they got to melt it down. Read. And a teacher of lies. Habakkuk is revealing something to you. What comes with that image? A teacher of lies. A teacher of lies. No way in the Bible did it command us to wear that. It's a sin to wear that. The white man told us you have to wear that. And what they did was they gave us a choice. They said you could either accept Jesus Christ and go into heaven with the crucifix or we're going to burn you. A lot of the Boricua Indians said we're not going to wear that and they decided to get burned alive. That's why you shouldn't be wearing that. That's the history of that. That's the history of that image. You understand? Read on. That the maker of his work trusted therein. That the maker thereof trusted therein. Real brothers and sisters will submit to God's laws. Because what? We're the true Jews. Get Jeremiah 14 and 2. Jeremiah 14 2. That's what we got to remember. The crucifix is a sin. Right. All praises. I didn't know it. I didn't know it. None of us knew this. I'm a matter of fact, I'm gonna tell you what the God, what the Bible told us to do. Deuteronomy 7:25. Get that. Deuteronomy 7:25.
The church is not going to tell you. When you walk into the church, it has a crucifix. Read this. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 25. The graven images of their God shall ye burn with fire. It says we would take those images and burn them with fire. Fire. That's what we would do. But today, we willingly accept it. We buy it. We wear it. We turn it into fashion and jewelry. The Bible, do you know how many Guatemalans don't know that history? Do you know how many Salvadorians don't know this history? They don't know this. That's why we're teaching it to you now. Now, I'm going to show you something. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 37. Not only did they force us to get these images, they changed our names. What's your last name, sis? Say it again. Jahira? Giles. Giles. What's your last name? Green. Green. What's your last name? Ojeda. O-J-E-D-A? Ojeda. What's your last name? Say it again. Lajada. Gonzalez. What's some other ones? Morales. Rodriguez. All those names was given to us during slavery. Every Puerto Rican walking around right now, you do not have your real last name. Every Hispanic walking around here right now, that's not your real last name. And here's what the Bible says about that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 37. And thou shalt become astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whither the Lord shall lead thee. It says we will become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. A byword means what? We would have another name. It says, among all nations. I don't got no white woman uh, first name. But your last name, you don't have it. Your real last name, all of our real last names is Israel. Right. Why? Give me Numbers chapter 6, verse 27. Bring it out. Numbers 6, verse 27. That's our real name. Read this, but it's the church. These ministers refuse to teach the truth. Right. That's why on the fly that we gave you, it's the address to our sanctuary, our school. It's time to come and learn. Right. Because guess what? Judgment is coming. Right. What just happened during this week? A hurricane barely touched New York. Right. 13 people drowned to death. Right. Because they couldn't force them well, themselves out of the basement. Following breaking news, the death toll now in New York City has climbed to 12. Three more bodies discovered in Flushing, Queens, and that's where John Del Giorno is hovering above in News Copter 7. John, you're just showing us the staggering images in Queens. What can you tell us about what we just learned? Mike, this is that same neighborhood we just showed you about 10 minutes ago. We're in Flushing, Queens. This is a neighborhood uh, right along Casino Boulevard that actually sits inside of Casino Park. There's about 80 homes in this little enclave. And this morning we're told now that a landlord reported to the fire department he had located three bodies in a flooded basement inside of his apartment building. We're on the corner of Peck Avenue and Casino Boulevard. You can see now fire and police on the scene. Much of the activity and the focus now in the rear of the building. We showed you all the damage in this neighborhood. Every single home in this neighborhood sustained serious water damage. We now know at least three people lost their lives in a flooded basement. We're live over Flushing, Queens. John Del Giorno, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. That was done by God. That was done by God. Hurricane Sandy, they called it. That was a judgment from God. Give me Isaiah 28, verse 2. Bring it out. New York City has yet to be touched by the Heavenly Father. Right. Why? Because he's given everybody a chance to repent. Right. Because judgment is coming to America. Right. You know? Remember, y'all forgot. Christ said he will make a second coming. Right. But he's waiting on that number. Right. Read this. Isaiah 28 verse 2. Behold, the Lord art my, the Lord art a mightily hand. Strong one. Read it again and take your time. Because we need everybody to hear this. Read. Behold, the Lord art a mighty and strong one. The Bible says the Lord has a mighty hand. Did it say? A strong one. A mighty and strong one. Read. Which as a tempest of hell and a destroying storm.
storm. The Bible says God is as a tempest of hell and a destroying storm. Right. What comes when a storm comes sometimes? Or a lot of times? Death. Dead bodies. Right. Dead bodies. That's the Lord. Right. That's the Lord. Right. Get read this, finish it. As a flood of mighty waters. As a what? Flood of mighty waters. As a what? Flood. It says a what? Flood. As a what? Flood. What just hit New York this week? Bring it out. Floods. Whoa. Floods. Right. And it barely touched New York. Right. Get Amos chapter 3, verse 6. Bring it out. Amos chapter 3 verse 6. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Read this. Amos chapter 3 verse 6. Judgment is coming. That's why you better repent. Amos chapter 3 and verse 6. Amos chapter 3 verse 6. Shall a trumpet blow in the city and the people not be afraid? It says, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Read on. Shall there be evil? In a city, it says, shall there be evil in a city? And the Lord hath not done it. God does evil. Right. You thought it was Satan. God does evil. Right. You thought it was the devil. God does evil. Right. Right. You never heard the scripture in your church. Right. Right. Read it again. Verse 6, shall a trumpet. Quote where you at. Amos chapter 3 verse 6 Come on. Shall a trumpet blow in the city And the people not be afraid God says shall a trumpet be blown in the city And the people not be afraid It's sarcasm We shall, shall a people not be afraid Shall there be evil in a city Shall there be what? Evil in a city Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord ought not done it. The Lord creates evil. Right. Give me Isaiah 45 and 7. Bring it out. The Lord creates evil. Right. Evil came to New York City this week. Right. And that was God. Right. That was God. Why? For adultery, right. fornication, right. for murder. Right. That's why. Read this. Isaiah chapter 45 verse 7. I found the light. I create darkness. God says, I form the light and I create darkness. Read on. I make peace and create evil. God says, I make peace. And the Most High says, I create evil. I create evil. You never heard these scriptures read in your church. You never heard these scriptures read in your church. Read on. I, the Lord, do all these things. The Most High says, I, the Lord, do all these things. I, the Lord, do all these things. So why does God bring judgment? Because look at all this murder in the Bronx. Right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.